Thanks for coming today. Um, we uh, are very excited to be here. This is um, our presentation for the Robin Mentional Conference. The usual disclaimers, I'm sure you know that everything we say is subject to market conditions. What is uh, origin oil, what is algae all about? Our focus is on algae. Now, why algae? Because it is the end game for biofuels. And we've been hearing about biofuels for a long time, but they're generally unsustainable for many reasons, including the fact that if we used uh, fresh water for fuels, we would soon run out of fresh water long before we'd replace petroleum with biofuels. We are first to market with technologies that are specifically focused on key area of algae extraction. Um, so there are lots of players in growth, lots of players in processing, but very few players in this key area of how to get the algae extracted. Our business model is very simple. We refuse to uh, do volume manufacturing, and we also refuse to uh, invest in sales channels. So it's a powered by origin oil model, basically leveraging other distribution. And really, we feel that our technology is central enough to the entire algae industry that we're better off getting it out there in everybody else's systems than trying to build our own. We're closely working with the Department of Energy on uh, feedstock standards, which is a key initiative for the industry. We are in revenue, and uh, we booked so far this year seven figures in sales, and we're now moving towards commercialization. Uh, Original happens to have a very well-committed, deep investor base, which helps when you're in expansion mode like we are. Okay, quickly I'm going to cover this algae story. This year, the sugar harvest is short in uh, Brazil, and prices are up 85%. This is not a sustainable model for fuel. Second generation, using various forestry wastes and so forth, is, is intriguing, but the biggest problem is the problem of freshwater use, which people tend to discount. Advanced biofuels, which is essentially algae, is something that does not require land, is not a food crop, loves any kind of water, absorbs waste products like CO2, and uh, nitrates and so forth. And it's very fast harvest, as opposed to a three or six month harvest, you're talking about a, a daily harvest. So it is a third generation uh, product. Now, every single technology needs its killer application. We believe we found it in something called carbon capture, which doesn't happen in the US, because apparently we can't get our mind, make up our minds to get rid of carbon uh, here in this country. But in places like Australia, Europe, China, it's all the rage. The only idea people have is to take all that carbon and throw it into the ground again, which is a, not a very good idea. We have a better idea, which is beneficial reuse through the use of algae. Biofuels, of course, this is a, a trend line that is based on certain assumptions which we think will be outstripped by the fact that algae will take over as the feedstock of choice. What is uh, our share of that market? Um, According to, to uh, forecasts, um, emerging production technologies will have roughly a one-third share of this $1.6 billion market in just three or four years. Uh, what that means is, is that we have a substantial opportunity uh, in the relatively short term at serious market valuation. Even in the US, we have some serious mandates to get rid of ethanol over time and to, to replace it with advanced biofuels, again, algae. Now, uh, people talk a lot about expensive things like omega-3s and so forth that can come from algae. And in fact, all the producers today of algae are making expensive foodstuffs, things like beta-carotene, uh, omega-3 DHA. Um, obviously, those markets are attractive, but they're very small. They'll get overbuilt. This is the sweet spot for algae, which is chemicals, 90% of Fuel goes, uh, food oil goes into fuel, but 40% of the profits come from petrochemicals. We intend to decapitate, as an industry, we intend to decapitate the petrochemicals, high-end chemical business. What about our technology? Well, first of all, why would you worry about extraction? The problem, right, is, is that there's just too much water. Algae is essentially Kool-Aid uh, when, you, when you harvest it, and how do you get the Kool-Aid back out of the water? That challenge is today answered by very high energy, high capex solutions, which are justified by the fact that people are getting $60 a kilo for their product. But when you're trying to go down to 85 cents a kilo, then you've got to have something more efficient. 
And this is the challenge, how to dewater the algae. We have the technology that answers that. It's basically composed of electromagnetic pulses combined with various other elements to both dewater the algae, get the water out, and break it down for further process. We, we can say with, with, with confidence that no one else is in the market today doing this, and it is our unique solving proposition. Let me just diagram it for you briefly. Uh, here you've got an algae growth system of whatever kind, and there's, a, there's many, many different ways to make algae. Um, being fed by inputs, water, CO2, the nitrates, all of which you should be paid for. You should be paid for getting, taking in dirty water, taking in waste CO2, and of course taking in those nitrates that are causing algae blooms in estuaries in China and elsewhere. Then, once you produce your algae, it comes out as, again, as I said, Kool-Aid, goes into our system, and after concentration, very simple mechanical concentration, we end up with something we've proposed, and uh, we are working with uh, standard setting organizations on what's called a uniform intermediate feedstock. That is the landing spot for a grower, which is a kind of a slurry we call algae crude. Now, this slurry has a choice. We can either take it for separation or fractionation into uh, numerous fractions, such as pharmaceuticals, chemicals, etc., or we can take it in its existing form straight to something called bio oil, which is refinable, like a petroleum feedstock, into real diesel, jet fuel, and of course all the fractions of chemicals. So what we predict is that the world is going to tend to go towards this. Why? Because these markets are huge and you don't have the very expensive uh, separation step required to get to the high value products over here. Fortunately, we spend a lot of time on intellectual property and the reason this is a good thing is because there is a lot of interest in getting next generation technologies for extraction. We filed our first patent in uh, April of 2009 and we have a half a dozen supporting patent filings around this extraction technology. Before we got focused on this um, central extraction area, we came up with a number of other pieces of IP which we continue to support for our customers. So how it works is we bring in a customer for the extraction technology. Once they're inside um, our corral, so to speak, then we're able to give them help uh, with CO2 injection, better uh, growth lighting, um, sanitizing the, the growth systems and so forth. But that's all done as a services activity in what we think is going to be a growing business called algae oil field services. Talk quickly about our business. As I mentioned, we're not in the business of building sales distribution channel. We're not in the business of building manufacturing. What we want to do as fast as possible is move towards OEMs and licensees. Early on, we start with strategic partners. Uh, these are companies that will help us prove our technology by um, using it in different applications like coal bed methane or, or carbon capture or wastewater applications. So these direct customers will help us prove our technology. But as soon as possible, we want to move from that to an OEM, original equipment manufacturer model, where it's essentially powered by original Intel inside, essentially. So that model allows us, of course, to, to limit capital requirements. Uh, I don't have to go raise $300 million for manufacturing, et cetera. But most importantly of all, it allows us to play well with the rest of the industry. You know, I learned in the high-tech boom that you don't compete with your natural partner. And the rest of the algae industry, uh, growers, processors, et cetera, uh, will be our partners, and we will not be competing with them. We believe that will lead to domination of this extraction space by origin oil. Well, we have a first strategic partner, and we focus on just one um, because our technology was still in development, and we were able to find a very well-funded company called MBD Energy, which um, is, has a cornerstone investor in Anglo-American mining and a couple other mining um, organizations. They have a pending IPO. They're very well-funded. And what they've gone ahead with is very aggressive scale-up. With their financial model is to be paid for absorbing the CO2. And the power, the power stations that put the CO2 out don't care what happens to the algae. They just pay for the carbon to go away. There's a big carbon tax coming in Australia. 
MBD's model is obviously to valorize the algae product after they've been paid the basic operating costs on the carbon side. And we have uh, worked with MBD to scale up, and we are now at full scale, and we've uh, received boat sales of a million dollars this year to date. This makes us the leader of our sector for uh, next generation harvesting and extraction. This is a quick slide about the, uh, the milestones we've had with MBD. It uh, started uh, over a year ago, and it's uh, progressed steadily to where we are today. If you go to our website, there's a, a video which um, shows some of the power station uh, shots and the, uh, the tours that were done of our site while we were all in Australia last month. And I recommend it's, it's a good video. We like it. This is a, an artist's rendering of uh, what this would look like. Um, they don't actually look like this anymore, uh, but it's the general concept of tubes with service modules. This is where the extraction systems are located. What's great about Australia is they have lots of acreage. There is um, thousands of hectares of land around these power stations, which are available for expansion. And here is actually NBD's own slide showing how they went from proof of concept. And this is these, these um, algae uh, tanks are 50 meters long, and they look roughly like this, basically a trough with a polyethylene um, covering over it. We've completed the test phase, and we're now uh, at the um, demonstration phase, which is a one hectare site. Partners, we have a close relationship with the Department of Energy at the Idaho National Lab, which is of the 26 DOE labs, the one that is uh, very closely focused on biomass programs in addition to nuclear. We know, we've known for a long time we wanted to have a world, worldwide distributor, and uh, Desna Balestra is a very aggressive player in the world stage and uh, is working with us to integrate our technology into their end-to-end -end algae uh, processing system. And of course, MBD with uh, a long-term relationship, very high confidence on both sides in, uh, in our capabilities. Uh, we have, we're considered the, the face of algae. There's a lot of visibility for the company. And uh, we recently duked it out um, with other biofuels companies, and I believe we're in the top eight in the world today. So whatever that's, that's worth, it's uh, certainly good for exposure. And here's more exposure. We, uh, um, you name it, we've been on it. And uh, people really want to know a lot about algae. I think that what's important to take away from this is that that people are eager to hear real information about progress in algae. Uh, people get it right away, and there's a tremendous amount of popular support for it. The team, uh, myself, uh, with a high-tech background, having gone through the dot-com, and then after the dot-com, actually having built some real companies, such as yellowpages.com. Uh, Paul Reap is a very uh, critical guy in the company. He was in the Department of Energy and, and elsewhere. Uh, petroleum engineer has worked in uh, nuclear and biomass programs and is a specialist in technology licensing and has done that extensively for USC. Um, Scott Frazier is uh, an outstanding prototype to uh, uh, commercial um, specialist. Ken Reynolds came in recently to expand our business development and marketing activities. More importantly is our technology team because this is where things get really done. Um, my brother Nick who brought initial technology know-how into the company and um, has been responsible for many innovations, continues to drive them today. Jose Sanchez, top algae growth guru, he's, he's well known in the industry. Michael Green, a specialist in uh, electroplasma applications and uh, a lot of our stuff has, has hidden his know-how behind it. Bill Charneski, uh, background in Dow Chemical, and we have a full-time patent agent as our IP portfolio manager underlining the importance of IP for the company. Quickly, the, uh, the equity picture is that we've raised a lot of money from friends and family, uh, about uh, eight, about well, nine, nine, nine and a half million dollars was raised uh, privately, either before or after we went public. And uh, finally, we had our first institutional round, which was a convertible debt pipe in uh, earlier, this, earlier this summer with Rodman. And um, we, we've raised a substantial amount of money at a good valuation. We are in the uh, mid-20s uh, million valuation with good liquidity. And our plan, of course, is to build on this very solid investor base 
uh, of several thousand investors. We make our milestones. Um, we said we would do these various things, various pilot programs, mobile system, got our first customer, first revenue, first some deliveries, first large scale order. We, we, we promised that we would make a million dollars in sales this year. We made that by uh, mid-August. So um, we're, we're definitely in the business of, of doing what we say. Now let's talk about where we're going for the next 12 months. Obviously, we're, gonna, we're going commercial. We're, it's about standardizing the product offering and uh, essentially productizing what we've got. Um, and you know, there's a lot of, uh, the algae industry, of course, is just coming out and it's green shoots. And so there's gonna be a lot of small system sales uh, as opposed to these big ones that we're making. And that's perfectly okay because that's what farming is all about. We'll be, we'll be helping to build the industry. We obviously have this million dollar order backlog, which we'll be delivering. Um, there's demand for us to integrate our process upstream and downstream so that there can be at least a default lineup from, okay, I've got my algae dilute, the, 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 uh, the green water. Everything that happens from there, there is a path that I can modify, I can, I can uh, mix and match, but there is a default path. And so that's a very important process for us, putting in place those relationships as a fully integrated process. Improving our science, of course. We will plan to add a few more direct customers, and again, to prove different applications, such as um, cold bed methane applications, uh, manure to, to energy applications, things like that are already in place that could use an algae setup. We want to start adding distribution partners, starting with uh, our long-term um, partnership with Desmet Balestra, which has presence in 120 countries worldwide. Um, and finally, we intend to continue to uh, our process of uplisting to a senior U.S. exchange. So we are in the process of transitioning to full commercialization. This is a perfect inflection point for the company. When we've done all the heavy lifting of actually getting a technology and, and proving it and getting into revenue and now going through an orderly process of expansion through a reasonable amount of capital injection. Well, just to summarize, it is obviously a, a company that is focused on critical technology in the algae industry that is not replicated elsewhere. And we are making sure that we have a very efficient business model that does not require the time and the money of building distribution. And of course, we're transitioning to commercialization. We're capitalizing on this killer app called Carbon Capture. We're embedding our technology. We're remaining a first mover, and we're moving as fast as we can to um, checkmate potential competitors as they come forward. We plan to partner rather than compete, and we will provide these various other innovations for our existing clients as they become clients for extraction. We'll give them all the other good stuff. We are the strategic investment in the algae oil market, and thank you.